we have executive coach Pam Solberg Tapper here once again with some helpful tips. Thank you, Pam. Thank we you. We always love to have you here. Thanks for and having me. This week is all about constructive criticism, correct? Yes, it's about giving feedback. And what I found is one of the hardest things is to give feedback to other people that doesn't put them on the defensive or makes them confused or damage the relationship. Absolutely. We've all been through that, I we, think. We have. So we have a scene. Uh, regarding a manager and an employee that doesn't quite go so well. All right, let's take a look. Thanks for coming in today. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> listen, do you remember that project you worked on several months ago? Uh, no, not, not really. Yeah, well, it wasn't great. Oh, okay, I wish you had mentioned that back then. The reason I bring it up now is because, well, you're just not producing the kind of work that I'd like to be seeing. Uh, okay, I'll try harder. Okay. Th thank you. <laughs> Work on that. Oh, so that was <laughs> what not to do. Right. What, <laughs> what, what not to do. And so what are some good tips for people to do it constructively? So what the manager could have done differently, but the manager did do one thing. Um, thank the employee for coming in today. So that was a positive. But uh, what, we, what we recommend is to focus on the what, not the who. So if you notice, uh, the manager said, you're not producing. That can put people on the defensive. Oh, yeah. So the what is actually the problem, the quality of work. So instead, the manager could have said, we're here today to talk about the quality of work uh, for these reasons, maybe a customer complaint or something like that. So you're focusing on the problem, not, not the, the person. person. And then something else I noticed, the manager said, you know, a few months ago that it happened a while back. Yes. And what we want to do with feedback is to give it as soon as possible after the event. And that way it's fresh in the person's mind. We saw the employee was confused. And in this situation, because the manager didn't bring it up a long time ago, the employee thought and assumed that she was doing it right all right. along until it so became a, a bigger misleading. problem. Yeah. Very much so. So do it right away. And then I know it's important to have specifics, not kind of just a general like, oh, it wasn't good, but to have some specifics. A very specific point. Oh yeah, exactly, because the manager talked about the quality of work, but the employee didn't know if it wasn't timely, or if there was mistakes, or if it wasn't accurate. So being specific, they can't fix it if you don't know exactly what it is. And then I have to imagine it's important to hear both sides. To, to, right. to listen. Absolutely. Yeah, the employee never got to say what exactly was going on. It could have been that the instructions weren't clear, which is the manager's responsibility, or maybe they didn't have enough time or uh, enough information to do the work properly. So and hear from the employee. Which sometimes can be hard to do, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then uh, you have a final tip and it can help them come up with ways they can improve. So to kind of brainstorm what to do next time, maybe. Well, collaborate and work with the employee. Uh, in this situation, the employee left and didn't know how to make it better. Mm -hmm. So what are some specific ways, what are some specific actions that the employee could do to be better? Because we all want to be good at what we do, and we need to have the information in order to be able to do that. Absolutely. Well, some great tips here. I mean, we all deal with criticism sometime mm -hmm. and in the workplace, trying to improve. So some great tips once again. Thank you so much, Pam. Thank you, Maria. And we'll have those all posted on our website at WGIO.com so you can take a look over them again. And Pam, I'm sure we'll see you soon with some more helpful tips. Thanks so much.